Here is what makes the kids that I work with improve way faster than the adult improvers. And guys, for the first month, what we do is mainly tactics, but we do tactics in a very specific way. And in this first position that you have, I'm going to give you a second one more complicated for you to do it later. But in this one, I'm pretty sure those of you who are already pretty advanced, you quickly spotted rook takes f6. If the king takes, then you got 94 with a nice fork, right? Well, the truth is that in this specific position, you have to consider in between moves. If you take the knight, they could take your knight, and then you gotta know what to do from here. Now, this is not a big deal. Anyone could think about it, but you have to also be able to spot the other in-between move here for white. Instead of taking right away, we take on f7, leading to a very good endgame for the white pieces. Now, what does this have to do with kids versus adults? Well, the thing is that adults typically do whatever they want. They have the ability to just go online, read books, watch videos, come up with their own training plans. The kids, they do for the most part what I tell them to do and they stick to it. And the main thing that we need to stick to is finishing the game until the end. So from this moment on, you should be able to convert the game. It's not enough to do a fork and win material, do a skewer, you have to be able to convert this. So the one thing that I like to do is take this position and finish it against the engine. So I'm going to do this and then we're going to go over the second position. So here we go. This is what no one does. None of the adults do it. So I'm going to go to practice versus computer. And let me see if it allows me to change it. So I'm going to change it, what I do with my students, so that it doesn't get so discouraging. Instead of playing against a 3200, we choose a computer 1 or 200 points above their rating. So for me, I'm at 24 right now. Let me see if I can find a 2600 computer. So let me see. This is 2450, 2450. Well, let me do 2450 just to illustrate. And they get to play first, so they played E5. guys. The plan that you should know here is that this is easily won because I'm going to use my pawn majority on the king side to get a pass pawn. This king has to go towards the pass pawn. I'm going to go towards this pass pawn, which is isolated. And then when we capture each other's pawns, then my king is going to be closer to the other part of the board, right? So I'm going to activate the king first, activate the king, and now I put my pawn majority in motion h4 they're gonna have to go towards the pawns now if i do h5 we gotta be careful with the idea of the one pawn that stops two so h5 is delicate but let me see h6 g5 pawn takes h6 and the king gets in the square so not cool let me just play you know what let me play c4 not necessary but let me do that then let me play a4 this is just to take care of the queen side and now I'm going to go with g5. I'm going to create, now even better, this is now a protected passed pawn. So this is even way better. So I'm gonna go c3, no, c3, let me see. c3, king f5, I don't think so. If I go g6, king f6, I take, they take, and then king e5. This is just winning. So g6, I take, then, hmm, G7, yeah, G7, easy endgame, opposition, I get the pawn, and now careful with getting in here, let me just go King G4, push the pawn again, and this is just too easy, guys. We don't even have to wait. Um, yeah, let me just promote, and this is just too much. So I'm not going to go any further, this should be easy for you to convert, but you could see how it's not only about doing the tactic and then going to the next one. From time to time, just have some sessions where you actually finish a game until the end. Make sure you can convert your games. Now, honestly, what I was expecting right here was something like this, and then I go g6, and then king takes, this should be the easy way to win. And again, thanks to the outside passed pawn. Now, this second position is a little bit more complicated, but again, it's not only about you finding the right plan, the right move, but once you find it, can you convert this against the engine? So I'm going to have you pause the video for five, 10 minutes if you need to, and then come back and listen to the answer. But more importantly, after we go over the answer, try to take the final position and play it against the engine. I'm not gonna do it 
that's going to be your homework. So the move here, believe it or not, if you pause the video and you found it, congrats. But the move, guys, it's something that you saw in one of the prior videos. C5, pawn takes, D takes C5. And notice how when we play C5, we already made the pawn structure on the queen side very, very weak. They were really nice connected. Not anymore. Now we take on E5. And the, this is the main idea, right? Now I go queen C2. And I'm going to get my pawn back with interest because then these are going to be two targets for me to go after, right? So at this point, you can see the evaluation is 1.47. See if you can convert this against the engine. I'm going to leave the, the PGN or the, the code in the comments or the description for you to copy it, paste it, and finish it against the engine. I trust you're going to let me know in the comments and I will see you in our next video.